A major grocer in Minnesota may soon sell THC edibles at its connected liquor store. Yeah, Minnesota has seen more and more of the THC beverages and gummies around the last few years, but not at liquor stores. That is until state law was updated this year to allow it. Renee Cooper tells us about the change that could be coming to St. Cloud. St. Cloud City Council on Monday evening is set to vote on whether Coborn's Liquor here on Cooper Avenue can start selling THC edibles. And they're not the only liquor store applying. The first application on the agenda is the Mini Mart on 32nd Avenue North. The other for major grocery chain Coborn's, hoping to stock the shelves with edibles or THC beverages. The local manager deferred comment to corporate, but tells me he knows of three other Minnesota Coborn's already selling the drinks. Melrose, Little Falls, and this store in St. Joe. All made possible by a change in state law, allowing liquor stores to jump on the THC bandwagon. It's actually something fairly new. I just heard about it uh, just a little while ago. University of St. Thomas finance professor Dave Vang says the opportunity for liquor stores could be a tough break for edible exclusive stores, particularly, he says, when a company the size and reach of Coborn's comes on the scene. I think this really might be a game changer, kind of on the order of going back to when uh, we would have mom and pop uh, VHS rental places, and then all of a sudden you had major change like Blockbuster and things like that came along that kind of wiped them out. To be clear, THC products would not be allowed in the grocery store, only in the liquor store separated by its own entrance, which was important to the locals we talked to. I guess I really don't care as long as they're doing it the right way and they're not selling to minors or anything like that. What is the difference, right? If they sell it or somebody else sells it. As this is more of a test case to see, you know, can a, will a city prove it? And if they do, then that's going to start the whole ball rolling as to what kind of regulations maybe the city's going to have. And that could very well be a model for the entire industry going forward. Again, the vote on both applications is set for Monday evening at 6 at City Hall in St. Cloud. Renee Cooper, 5 Eyewitness News.